Hey Apple buddies, what's up? How are you? How's everything? This is my 120 gallons planted tank and you know that we added grow LED light and you can see the results. Some of the plants have got red color and some of the plants are turning pink and it is all due to grow LED light which we added recently. But today's video is about something different and guys you know that we have discussed about the LG and we discuss about green LG, brown LG, black beard LG and salt water LG and I made different videos and I'm gonna share the link of those videos in my description and you know that guys I also shared my personal experience that how I got rid of the brown LG so guys those were some steps which we took but guys today's video is about the LG eaters and we are going to discuss top 10 LG eater fishes which can eat the LG and I must say that you should add those fishes if you have planted tank because in balanced planted tank there are some minor LG also and some of the parameters also may get disturbed so you must have those LG eater to get clean and very good looking planted tank so in this video we are gonna discuss the top 10 LG eaters that can work in the planted aquarium so we are going to discuss so guys let's stay and we are going to start the video there are hundreds of algae type in the nature but there are some algae types which may present in your planted tank if you have have planted tank then definitely you will face algae issue at some stage in a balanced and established planted tank there are least chances of algae in the tank when any parameter of planted tank varies then you may encounter with algae. Today we will talk about top 10 algae eaters for planted tank. Number 1. Hillstream Loach. Hillstream Loach comes from the rapid moving streams of Asia. And their streamlined bodies are built to withstand those strong currents. These are freshwater fish and are suitable for community tanks because of their peaceful nature, they are totally safe to keep with other non-aggressive fish, snails, shrimp, and live plants. They are mostly added into planted tank for cleaning the algae and they like to eat different algae types. Hillstream loaches are omnivores and grazers, so they will feed on algae and biofilm in your tank. They also like to eat most kinds of live foods, such as insect larvae, tubifex, daphnia, and frozen or live brine shrimp. They will also eat fish flakes or pellets, as well as algae wafers. But they do not eat snails. Number 2. Siamese Algae Eater. This fish is scientifically known as Crossachelus oblongus. This is the most popular and most effective fish for eating the any type of algae in planted tank. These algae eaters are also great because they will eat some of the algae that other algae eaters ignore like black beard algae. This species is also fairly peaceful and relatively easy to care for so they may be a good choice for beginner aquarium hobbyists to help control algae in a new tank. Siamese algae eaters need a tank size approximately 30 gallons and they prefer a pH between 6.5 and 7. Zero with a temperature between 75 degrees Fahrenheit and 79 degrees Fahrenheit. These fish can be kept in community tanks and they are moderately easy to care for as long as they have enough algae to eat. They are not the most colorful fish in your tank. But experienced aquarists know the true value of the silver-gray colored striped fish. These algae eating machines are some of the best algae eaters in this hobby. Number 3. Chinese Algae Eater. This fish is scientifically known as Gyrinochylos amineri. This is one of the most famous fish for eating algae in planted tanks. The natural habitat of a Chinese algae eater is warm lakes and fast-flowing rivers with sandy substrate, vegetation, and driftwood. In rainy seasons, this habitat becomes flooded and muddy. Despite their name, Chinese algae eaters aren't commonly found in China. The fish is predominantly found in other parts of Asia, Vietnam and Thailand. Chinese algae eaters keep to themselves and have aggressive tendencies toward similarly sized fish. 
Chinese algae eaters have elongated brown bodies, small fins, and sucker mouths. They can grow up to 10 inches in the tank, so most of the hobbyists don't prefer it because it can damage the plants besides eating algae. Number 4. Dwarf Sucker Fish. This fish is also known as Otisinclus catfish. They are peaceful and would make an awesome addition to your planted aquarium. As cleaning workers, they'll spend the majority of their time sucking away on rocks, leaves, or anything with algae growing on it. That's why most of planted tank keeper like them. These are small catfish, growing up to a maximum of 2 inches in length. They have very social personalities and are quite peaceful, making them completely safe to keep with other non-aggressive fish, shrimp, snails, and live plants. If algae is not present in your aquarium, the Otisinclus diets can be supplemented with fresh vegetables, algae wafers, or vegetable-based flake food. Number 5. Florida Flag Fish. This eye-catchy species often called as the American Flag Fish is sought after by many fish keepers who want to add beauty to their tank. The flag fish absolutely loves abundantly planted tanks where they can appear from the background and flourish in front of their viewers. Most of the hobbyists keep this fish because it also acts as a good algae eater in planted aquarium. As its name indicates, this species can be found in the ponds, canals and swamps of Florida. What makes this fish so amazing? is the mix of metallic scales and colorful streaks that cover its body. It is going to stand out like a shiny jewel in front of all the plants, substrate and wood accessories. Watching how the natural light reflects on its body in many different colors is going to be a mesmerizing experience. Number 6. A mono shrimp. It is also called Caridina multidentata. This species of shrimp is from the family, Atiidae. It is native to Japan and Taiwan. Its common names include Yamato shrimp, Japanese shrimp, Amano shrimp, and algae shrimp. These shrimps are best for eating algae in small or nano-planted tanks. These shrimp are easy to care for and because they only grow up to 2 inches in length. They are great swimmers. And are always on the lookout for food. A mono shrimp have clear bodies with tan or brown stripes running down the back from head to tail. They have a white stripe that runs from the head to tail and black eyes. Because of their great utility, you will rarely see a monos in shrimp-only tanks. They are one of the most popular additions to planted and community tanks. Number 7. Whiptail Catfish. Whiptail's catfish are probably the most underrated catfishes in the hobby. They combine bizarre looks with hardiness, adaptability, and utterly peaceful temperaments. They are also very good algae eater for planted tanks. Generally they are carnivores rather than algae eaters, their predatory instincts are directed toward worms and insect larvae, and whiptails won't harm even the smallest tank mates. Such as live bearer fry. Good water quality is important, of course, also they prefer soft, slightly acidic water, they also do well in moderately hard, slightly basic water. They aim for a hardness of 3 to 15, and a pH of 6 to 7.5. Number 8. Nairite Snail. The Nairite Snail is a species of the Neridity family, that can live in freshwater and saltwater. These tiny snails are less than 1 inch long and are a beneficial addition to any tank, thanks to their cleaning abilities. That's why these are favorite ones for planted tank keepers. They clean up algae from plants and aquarium glass both. These snails are easy to look after and have a peaceful temperament. The Nairite snail is typically found in eastern Africa where it inhabits a mix of saltwater from the sea and freshwater from rivers. These snails are slow movers that spend most of their time consuming tank algae in captivity. These invertebrates are skilled climbers, so they sometimes escape from the tank. Nerite snails have minimal feeding requirements because their diets mostly consist of the algae in the tank. 
However, if the tank is running out of algae for the snail to eat, add spinach, lettuce, and kale to the tank. Number 9. Apple Snail. Apple snails are freshwater snails commonly sold in the aquarium trade for the purpose of keeping aquarium glass clean of algae. The apple snails are popular aquarium pets because of their attractive appearance and size. When taken good care of some apple snail species can reach a large size 6 inch diameter. Number 10. Bamboo Shrimp. Bamboo shrimp are reddish brown in color with a white stripe. These shrimps grow between 2 and 3 inches in length, so they're one of the larger species of algae-eating shrimps. Bamboo shrimp-like tanks with lots of live aquarium plants. The aquarium plants provide many places to climb on, hide under, and explore. They like to eat algae present on aquarium plants. So it was list of top 10 algae eaters. We would recommend you that should must add any algae eater species if you have planted tank. Because these algae eaters not only clean up your tank, but also look beautiful and attractive in the aquarium.